So we've got some new content today for MLB The Show 23 and then an updated calendar taking a look for less than a week from now. Season 6 is starting and then we even have some 2024 news. It's not necessarily about MLB The Show 24, but it's the next year and I can't believe time has gone by this fast. I'm kind of curious down in the comment section because this is something I want to start thinking about, start talking about. Is there anything that if you were on the fence about buying MLB The Show 24, is there anything they could add to the game that you would be like, yep, this is added, um, no matter what, buying the game now. I want to see in the comments what you really, really want to see from MLB The Show 24. But before we go ahead and take a look at the calendar, what's coming in the next few weeks, I want to go ahead and talk about the new content today. First of all, we have a double XP weekend going on. It ends December 19th around noon Pacific. We have a new event with, I think, three new diamonds in there. And then we also have a new pack, a new Finders Keepers pack with a 99 overall relief pitcher. So I think what we want to go ahead and do is just start with the new event. It's the new 223 event. You're able to use any card series that is new to MLB The Show 23, as well as live series cards. Max team overall, there really is none. It's 99. Just like usual, three inning games on all-star difficulty. We can see there's a new 12 win reward. That finest Kyle Tucker will take a look at his attributes here in just a second. But first, let's check out the win rewards. First off, we have a finest Camilo Doval from the Giants 116 for his hits per nine 109 pitching clutch 99 max velocity and break with 91 control we see his pitches in the top right the velocity on the cutter sinker and the slider the control looking really pretty good especially on that cutter for him and then we see the break looking real nasty max on the cutter and sinker and then 97 for the slider, we can see he performs better during day games and that he has outlier on both his cutter and his sinker. I feel like those really fast cutters can be hard to hit, especially when you get playing on Hall of Fame and Legend difficulty. He's the five win reward and this new event at 10 wins, you get one of these event rewind packs. I'm kind of curious to see in season six if these are going to start having two players instead of one. Or maybe for the 30 win, the 12 win rewind packs. If maybe during season six, these will start having two choices instead of one. I'm interested to see how they do that to maybe start bringing the prices of some of these cards down. If you don't want to or don't have all of the cards, aren't able to get to 30 wins in the events. Some of these guys can really be pretty expensive. Millions of stubs with some of them only being able to sell the card. There's no buy now. On the options right there as y'all can see on Kodai Senga but the 21 reward in this new 223 event is going to be this 99 finest Garrett Cole I believe the AL Cy Young winner 114 for his hits per nine 117 for his pitching clutch 93 control and 97 velocity and 99 break for him we see the velo on his pitches in the top right good pitch selection I guess four seam slider knuckle curve change and a cutter i usually prefer a sinker but he does have a lot of movement up and down as well as sideways so i think that pitch selection a lot of times having five pitches anyways is going to be good the control looking real nice the cutter still pretty solid at the lowest at 87 and then the break you can see in the top right as well on this finest garrett cole i'll definitely give him a try not sure if he'll be in my rotation his only quirk is that he performs better when playing at home and that is the 21 events again at 30 wins you can get one of these 12 win rewind packs and then we also have the new 12 win reward he'll be in the pack in the next event that we have the one that starts on december 21st so less than a week long for this event and it's kind of crazy to me some events will be two or three weeks long and they have the exact same reward path Others will be less than a week long, and it's still the same 20 and 30 wins. I'm surprised they don't adjust it ever based on the length of the events, especially right around the holidays, but maybe they think people have more time. I don't know, man. We got the 12 win, the Kyle Tucker in the bottom right. Let's go ahead to the market and take a look at that Kyle Tucker. Going to set the series to 2023 finest. I don't see him on this page, and we see him right here. 99 overall finest Kyle Tucker. I remember set one a lot of people loved his WBC card 111 and 123 for his contact ratings 
110 and 120 for his power 121 vision 125 maxed clutch 99 durability i know people like to see that 89 fielding 88 arm strength 80 arm accuracy and 80 reaction in a right field also plays left and center field with his 58 speed and then he performs better during night games also unfazed i love that quirk excels when hitting with two strikes the pci gets a little bit bigger whenever there's two strikes and i'm kind of curious i might have to see if we could do an entire team build with players having that unfazed quirk but that is the 12 win event reward and those are all the new rewards for the new 223 events if we take a look at the pack shop we can see the pack three of these finders keepers cards and you will notice on the calendar in just a little bit that we're getting a new finders keepers collection reward i'll show you all the collection in a second exactly where it is but lee smith is from pack three you can buy one of these for fifty thousand stubs a piece you get the card as well as a jersey and right now the card is going for a little bit more i have seen these cards in the past dip below that fifty thousand price i'm not sure if they'll stay there if they get down there once the new collection drops but we got a 99 retro finest lee smith max hits per nine max strikeouts per nine max homers per nine max pitching clutch max velo and max break 90 control for his four pitches that you see up in the top right the velo on each of them you see the control on each of them even the fork ball down at 83 that breaks a lot I think he's going to be real solid. I'm always a big fan of Lee Smith cards. And for 50,000 stubs for a potential end game reliever in my bullpen once season six rolls around or even right now since he's set five, I'm liking the look of this card. I'm a big Lee Smith card fan. He does have an outlier on his four seam fastball. You should be seeing triple digits on that. Pairing with that 125 hits per nine and the solid control in the card. I'm excited to use that Lee Smith and again he'll be part and is part of the finders keepers collection which right now we have this kyle seager i probably got to go ahead and lock in some of my cards and he's the reward right now but if we go ahead and take a look at the calendar go back to kind of where we were at the beginning we can see that on it looks like january 5th we're having finders keepers four and five and then on the 12th six on the 19th seventh as well as a final collection reward i'm not seeing it on either december 20th or either of the 21st options but i could have sworn that just a few days ago maybe the calendar before this one that on the 21st they're gonna have another finders keepers collection reward we can see on january 5th in 2024 i can't believe how fast time's going we can see that on january 19th under the january 5th page section of the calendar we can see that on the 19th we'll have our final finders keepers collection reward and then all the way in february we're going to be getting ranked rewards ranked reset featuring sellable rewind packs and then the forever ranked season beginning on march 8th so we're definitely getting towards the end of content and everything for mlb the show 23 but i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a finders keepers collection maybe dropping on the 21st i really feel like i saw that on the calendar but double xp weekend started today we have the lee smith and that new finders keepers pack we have the new 223 event that's for today's content and then less than a week from now i think five days from now on december 20th we have a forever wonders program it looks like where you can earn more than 100 packs in a new program and you complete missions to unlock the rewards there and then the very next day six days from now next week on thursday december 21st we have the launch of season six players from all sets return to ranked seasons play not just one wild card per team we're gonna have a new event a new battle royale a new ranked a new mini season and a new conquest i'm really interested to see are these going to be ranked seasons with three new rewards battle royale programs with three new rewards or are we going to start cutting back a little and now that'll be season six and then also on december 21st we got holiday cheer a free holiday bundle in the pack shop featuring diamond players and then they're going to be returning previous packs in the shop so we might see the prices of some cards that are pretty high because the packs haven't been available for a while maybe they'll start coming back down but that's the new content coming in less than a week january we'll be getting some new finders keepers cards and i'm curious if on february 2nd with the ranked rewards is the season six ranked season is that going all the way until february we'll have to wait and see but 
I'm curious to see what y'all think about the few new cars that we got today. Hopes for MLB 24 like we talked about at the beginning. Maybe anything you're hoping for from Season 6. But like and subscribe for daily uploads on the channel. I appreciate y'all as always for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day, a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.